would I lie to you? Please do not swear. It's Davina McCall. He wouldn't dare. It's Jason Manfred. And their team captain, Lee Mack. And facing them tonight, he's our favourite antique. It's Michael Aspro. He mocks the week. It's Dara O'Brien. And their team captain, David Mitchell. But first, please blatantly ignore the health and safety rules on noise pollution in appreciation of your host, Angus Peters! Good evening and welcome to Would I Lie to You, the show about liars and lying. One clue as to whether someone is lying to you is if they're unable to make full eye contact, which is why you should only trust pirates 50% of the time. <laughs> Camouflage can be seen as one form of lying, except of course that it can't. And euphemisms are a form of lying when you use a more polite term to describe something, like when you give a refined lady directions to the powder room when she needs to fire out a dump. <laughs> which brings us circuitously to round one, Home Truths, in which we plumb the frightening depths of our panellists' lies as they take it in turns to read out a statement from the card in front of them, which may contain a true fact about themselves or a downright lie they're seeing for the first time. A scenario demanding instant creativity from the panellists, instant cunning from their interrogators, and endless patience from everyone watching. Uh, Michael is first to go over the top, so Michael, if you would. Before any TV appearance, I shadow box in my dressing room. <laughs> what do you wear? Oh, As your is it fully clothed or in your pants? Or? I mean, well, I'm fully dressed, about to burst on the scene. And you do, <laughs> do you take boxing gloves with you or is it just literally with your sort of hands? I don't take any equipment for this thing. It's a, just a little thing between me and the mirror, really. Have you ever got beat? <laughs> do you do it to keep fit, or is it to kind of whoosh yourself up before the show, like a rocky moment? Come on! Rrr, I'm Michael Aspen. It's, um, it is really, yes, to get the blood, I suppose, flowing towards the brain, that sort of thing. How fired up do you need to be for the Antiques Roadshow? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's worth ten grand! <laughs> How long do you shadow box for? Probably uh, sort of 20 seconds of... So uh, not long, it's just a quick... Like, the old one, two and a few uppercuts. Would you mind giving us a quick demonstration? <laughs> what, standing or can I do it? Standing, standing. How, however you do it in the mirror oh. for 20 seconds. Well, that's just a bit of... Yes, that sort of boxing, wasn't it? The sort of boxing you see in the 17th century. That's all. So, Lee, what, what, are you, what are you thinking? What do you think? Um, well, you, you're a very calm, cool, calculating person. I think you're very, very suave, and I can't imagine you going, get out there and kill them, Michael. <laughs> I see you more as a sort of, uh, we're on in five. I'm busy, I'm playing backgammon. <laughs> Like you trying to... I thought, yes, I can imagine, because he's so cool and calm, that he might need to rrrr him yeah. himself up. But I think it's a lie. Okay. It's a lie, yeah. I'm saying it is okay. a lie. Okay. Michael, truth or untruth? It is true. <laughs> it's God's own truth. It is true, Michael does shadow it. box uh, like before every TV appearance, like that. Uh, while he boxes, a ghetto blaster at his feet blares out uh, the same hard-pumping track over and over again. Schubert String Quartet, number 15 <laughs> in G. And of course, in a dressing room, it's shadow boxing. In the street, it's mental illness. <laughs> uh, Davina, your home truth, if you would, please. <clears throat> at my wedding, I walked down the aisle to the Big Brother theme tune. <laughs> Oh, really, really, we've got to hope that this is a lie, because that would be like, possibly, and I've seen some unclassy weddings in my time, people arriving in pink carriages with What's horses and giants. about that? The big, like, at first, it's quite quick, the big brother's room. Da -da 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 -da. You, it's a quick walk up the aisle, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, but the thing, the thing is, it's, I, I like a bit of humour and a bit of comedy, and that's what I was going for. It, it, was made, everybody, it made everybody in the church, we all had a bit of a giggle, and then we started the serious music after that. Well, who chose this music, you or your spouse? Oh, well, me. I mean, my, I had to talk my husband round. 
it, into getting married. It wouldn't be. <laughs> there's a little bit of that, a little right. bit of cajoling. Marriages are always, there's always a kind of a give and take in this situation. Like, so you had the Big Brother theme tune. Surely then there was a trade-off where, as you turned around and walked out, was it to, I don't know, Shaggy Bombastic? I don't know. What did, you, what, <laughs> what did he get to pick as the music as he left her? Actually, I have to say, he didn't get to pick anything. It was just me. But, you know, he got what he wanted on the wedding night. Oh, a, a nice night out with his mates. What was that? Uh... <laughs> Did you have Marcus Bentley, the Geordie voiceover man, doing the actual <laughs> reading? Oh. Do you, Davina, take this man to be your lawful <laughs> husband? Do you know, if we got remarried, <laughs> I'd do that, definitely, second time. Surely, though, you, need, you needed the morning after and you're waking up and turning to your partner and then he just leans over with day two. In the day <laughs> <laughs> David, are you uh, well, I can, taken I, in by any of this? It's possible. I can see it. It would be sort of a jokey, sort of, if you wanted to, you know, have a sort of light-hearted beginning to the whole thing. I can, I can, I can, it's possible. What's your instinct, Michael? My instinct, after recoiling, is it's probably true. Nara? No, my instinct is that you went for pure princess wedding and that it was string quartet playing. So it's a hung jury here. <laughs> yes. And I've I'm... changed my mind. I don't think she did. Oh, right. It's not a hung jury here. Uh, I, I, don't, I think it's a lie. We're, we're going to say lie. Mm, they're saying it's a lie, Davina. It is... a lie. It is a lie. <laughs> well done. Yes, it's a lie. Uh, Davina did not have the Big Brother theme tune playing at her wedding ceremony. After the wedding, in a small function room next door, Dermot O'Leary hosted a low-budget follow-up ceremony called Davina's Wedding's Little Wedding. <laughs> Dara's turn to uh, amaze us. I co-own a racehorse with Sir Alex Ferguson. What's the racehorse called? The racehorse called Danger Here. One word put together. Danger Who owns it? No, there's a whole, there's a syndicate. There's a load of us in the syndicate. And right. who's training it? Uh, oh God, I, I, no idea. There's you don't know who trains it? I don't know who trains it. You Do you know what colour it is? Yes, it's brindle. It's what? Brindle. Brindle? brindle? You don't get brindle sauces. That's horses. not a colour, that's, that's, that's a character in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> you get brindle dogs, but yeah. not horses. So, um, what races have you seen it uh, race in? I, I saw it in Cheltenham. What did it race at Cheltenham? What was the race? Oh, God, it was some sponsor thing. It was like a Hennessy thing. Um, How long ago was that? That was uh, last March. Was it the Cheltenham Gold Cup meeting? No, 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 it was before that. That's slightly later in Cheltenham. What, so, what date? What part of March is it? <laughs> Cheltenham, I'm just saying, but it wasn't the Cheltenham Festival. That's when the Cheltenham Festival was on. In it, March? But yeah, it, it's just the week before Paddy's Day in March. Forget uh, the Paddy's Day. This has got nothing to do with it. it I, you asked what when? is the date, the date of the meeting you went it to? It was the 3rd or 4th, uh, 34th of March this year. Right, okay. So yeah. you need to know the date in case it what, was it like a oh, horse bank holiday. How long? You asked the horse. You asked no, no, third of March, no, horses won't work that day. It's part of their culture. <laughs> They're all worshipping their horse gods. <laughs> special hay cakes. Maybe. You've got a horse. I've, I've got no horse, no, but Would I've you got... you like a horse? Why, is that what this is about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not about the fact that I want a horse, you're it's quite, about the fact you that... You want a horse, you're quite a horse guy, and you want a horse, and you're ashamed of saying it, because it makes you sound like a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> But you've got an interest in horse racing a bit, obviously. It's sort of an interest. I, originally in Ireland, it was part of a greyhound syndicate, which is That's like... A bit, was it? But it was too big to race with the greyhounds. Yeah, and... <laughs> <laughs> that seems reasonable. <laughs> I've got a donkey in the, sanctu in the sanctuary somewhere. Does it work like that, where they send you little no, pictures at no, Christmas? <laughs> You're doing good, whereas Dara has an enslaved creature. <laughs> The horse doesn't send me a letter every Christmas and go, yeah. thank you very much for the sugar cubes. <laughs> uh, yes, where's please your, could I your, run less? Where's your My wife? feet hurt the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> a cruel dwarf Dark. hits me. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Lee, you're going to have to come to a conclusion. What do you think? Um, I, I think he might be telling the truth. I think he's telling the truth. OK. I think they're both wrong. You're lying. Oh, I'm going against my team oh, and saying that you're lying. Really? If I'm wrong, it makes a I'll... mockery of the whole team <clears> thing, doesn't <throat> it? See, he's lying. He's trying to get us to change our mind. Perfect. <laughs> he's lying. Or is he or he's, he's lying. If he was telling the truth, he yes, wouldn't go. Have true. another that's go, Lee, would he? Think again, Lee. Have another go. <laughs> he's saying it's, it's a, a lie. black and white lie. It's a brindle lie. It's a <laughs> lie. Tell uh, the truth of the matter, please. You're lying. <laughs> it is a lie. It is a lie. It's a lie. Dara does not own or 